The third type is binary covalent. A binary covalent compound is between two nonmetals. When nonmetals bond together, they don't transfer electrons as in an ionic bond. Rather, they share electrons to form a covalent bond. You will recognize this type because they will include prefixes such as mono, di, or tri. They will also always include two nonmetals. Examples are carbon monoxide or diphosphorus decaoxide. You don't need to worry about charges when writing binary covalent compound formulas. Nonmetals do not form charges when bonding with other nonmetals. Write the symbol for the first and second words. Use the prefixes to determine the subscript. Remember that if no prefix is given on the first word, it is one, as mono is not used with the first word in the compound. Here are the prefixes used for each of the subscripts 1 through 10. An example, dinitrogen tetraoxide. Nitrogen is the symbol N. Di indicates 2. Oxide is the symbol O. Tetra indicates 4, N2O4. Another example, silicon dioxide. Silicon is the symbol SI. We don't use mono with the first word, therefore it's assumed to be 1. Oxide is O. The di indicates 2. SiO2